Hello, friends. Throughout a person's life, most other people serve as opportunities to gain communication experience. But some chance encounters become truly life-changing. In April 2019, at a conference for people with Down syndrome, fate brought together Gabby Agilini, 21, and Nick Doyle, 30. While attending all of the events, they were inseparable and quickly realized that they were made to be together for the rest of their lives. Everything would have been fine, but in the bustle as everyone was leaving the conference, their parents and guardians completely forgot to swap their children's contact information. Nick, like a true modern young person, decided to track down Gabby through social media. He succeeded. They began writing to each other frequently. They exchanged conversations and text messages on a daily basis. But there was one serious problem. The girl lived in Raleigh, North Carolina, and a young man in Canton, Ohio. They were separated by more than 800 kilometers, which left them with only a long-distance relationship as an option. At the next summer conference, they didn't get to talk, and the girl came home incredibly distraught. For two weeks, she moped around, feeling very sorry for herself. Then she burst into tears and confessed to her mother that she really missed Nick. The woman's heart ached with sympathy for her daughter, and she decided to contact the young man's mother. Together, they decided that they should definitely arrange a meeting for their children. The surprise was completely unexpected for Nick and Gabby. Mary, the girl's mother, booked plane tickets to Canton, telling her daughter that they were leaving for the conference. Lisa, Nick's mother, asked him to go with her to the airport to pick up a friend and take them home. Lisa Doyle caught the two lovers' amazing reunion on camera. Clearly bored, her son stands by a pillar for a while, waiting for his mother's friend. But suddenly, he sees Gabby coming out towards him. In deep shock, with tears in his eyes, he falls to his knees and lowers his head to the asphalt. Upon seeing Nick, the girl drops all her bags and runs to meet him. A phone falls out of her pocket. With tears in their eyes, they hug each other for a long time. The lovers had a wonderful time, never leaving each other's side for even a minute. Lisa Doyle admitted that it was the first time in 30 years that she had seen her son so happy. The mothers agreed that they would arrange these get-togethers more often. After their last vacation together on the beaches of Hilton Head, the girl had a ring on her hand, which Nick had presented to his future bride. Now they are steadily moving towards their own wedding. Their parents see how happy their children are and are overjoyed for them. Their genetic disease doesn't interfere with the future newlyweds' hobbies. Gabby has her own business, a coffee shop, which also employs other people with disabilities. Nick performs in the world's first comedy troupe for artists with Down syndrome, known as the Improvisers. The young couple always has a tight schedule, but it never prevents them from spending time with each other. True love knows no boundaries. The important thing is that close relatives understand and help to maintain the happiness that people with disabilities find much more difficult to come by. That's all, friends. Write in the comments if you like this story. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not with us yet. Bye!